chapter, verses 3 and 4. Grace be to you and peace from God the Father and from our Lord Jesus Christ, who, who gave us himself as our, who gave himself for our sins, that he might deliver us from the present evil, from this present evil world, according to the will of God our Father. Amen. Amen. Oh, Heavenly Father, thank you for bringing us all together today. Pray for the one that's here today. Pray for the one that's not here. Father, pray for the one that's in the this home. Father, pray for our politicians. Father, pray for our police department. Father, pray for the one that will have them in the streets out there, Father. Father, test a heart. And they so Father, give us all down that right path. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 We may stand for the
but I have supposed to be to work at 9 o'clock in the morning. However, I dedicate three hours on one of my off days to go in so I can come in later on because I'm going later to work on Sunday. So when I say I got to be working at 12, I have to be to work at 12. No give hands, but it's about. So I feel like if I can come in here, if I can sacrifice three hours a day and I can come in and get in here early, I can work in um, a second job Saturday night and things like that. Other people can, you know, yeah. make sacrifices. And this is not our building as well. So we are borrowing somebody else's building who has service right after us. So we have to be mindful and respectful of them too. Preach. Um, with that being said, as far as the prayer and briefing list, if you have anyone you need to add on the list, whether it be for prayer, whether it be for briefing, please let me know so I can get that updated. Um, please continue to pray for the pastor and family, the Wiley family. Christopher Smith, Ollie Morris, Mignon Owens, Keanu Owens, James Warren, Deontay Trailer, Hattie Bay Walker, Willie E. Terry Walker, Jeannie B., Maisha Wilson, The Boomers, Sally Walker, Sean Harris, Ulysses Clay. Please continue to pray for the Lindsay family, your dad's heart of agreement, the Pew Williams family, your dad's heart of agreement. Please continue to pray for our city, our state, our country as we go through this election season and pray for the world. With that being said, I'll hand you over to our pastor, Reverend Carl Kingston.
7, 13 through 16, clearly thus. When I set up the heavens so that there is no rain, I command the locusts to devour the land. I send a plague among my people. And my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then I will hear from heaven and I will give them their sin, give them their sin and will heal their land. Now my eyes will be open and my ears attentive to the prayer offered in this month. I have chosen and concentrated this temple so that it may, my name may be there forever. My eyes and my heart will always be there. If you would, uh, turn to your neighbor and say, God can change you. God can change it. God can change it. God can change it. There's a song called God Can Make a Difference. The song said, God makes a difference. He can if you let him know no matter what your life has done. God makes you whole. God can make a difference. Yes, God can. God can change. Whatever you're going through, whatever you've been through, God can make a difference. And, and in the scripture today, we find that uh, Solomon was dedicating the temple that God had promised Moses. He had promised Abraham. He had promised David uh, this temple that he was going to have his people to have. Moses told the people in the wilderness about God was going to build a house. This house was going to be called a house of prayer. And Solomon, we find at this time, Solomon dedicated this temple that generations God had told him was going to be there. See, it's no different. See, when we look at church, church is a house of prayer. Well, we ought to come in and worship the Lord. We have the Lord in us through the blessing because we are his temple, but the church is where the multitude come in to witness to what the God is doing. When we come into church, we shouldn't go out the same way we come in because we're meeting God. We're putting our problems and our issues down before him. Teach. If we, we know him and we believe in him, there's a change. Yes, teach. There's a joy in God's house. Teach, Pastor. There's a joy, and since he built the first temple where people could come in and feel his presence. Amen. See, well, sometimes you have to get a multitude. If you go to a football game and there's one person there, <laughs> what kind of joy in it? <laughs> when, 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 when you got a stadium full of people hurrahing going on and everything, that's what we need to do. Hurrah and praise the Lord. And know that God is good. All, all the time. time. All the time. Anytime. God is good. All God can change things. Yes. If you don't think so, think about your life two or three years ago, even a month. What kind of problem or issue was on your head? What was you going through? Look back in younger years and see how you made a difference. Look at how you can talk to the Lord. How you make you feel good. How you can sell your problems and your difference with it. Because God can change it. He said, if you turn from your wicked ways. See, in the, in, in the scriptures say, when I set up the heavens and there was no more rain, but God made it come back. When they prayed, rain came. Because soon the locusts will divide the land. We talk about the pledge that Moses gave to Egypt. God made a difference. He changed it. He changed the way you think in life today. You don't think about 
the things of treating people the way you did yesterday. Sometimes God gives us a second chance, we give others a second chance. Because God can change things. He can change. So we, 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 let's look at some points here. This prayer shows how holy God is and how sinful his people are. When we look at this, we're seeing how holy God is, how he is who he is, and how his people have been disobeying and doing things since Adam and Eve. It, it ain't just started. We go back from Adam and Eve when the first sin came in, when they disobeyed. Yes, sir. Ain't nobody in here can say, well, I I don't be disobedient. There's things you do that you don't supposed to do. Gee. There's people you talk about you don't supposed to talk about. There's things you put down a happen, but we all fall short. Yes. We all have a place to come in for reference and, and tell to the law. Yes. We yes. come collectively. What he said, but well, two or three may gather, I'll be in the midst. Yes, Lord. And when, 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 when you got two or three down on the same accord, God listens and he changes. Yes, because he can change it. Yes, yes. He can change it and make you do better. Yes, he, he can change it and make you want to be better. Yes, he can change it and make you look better. Yes, yes. God can change it. Yes, yes, yes. God can make a difference. Yes, yes. How people's sins keep getting in the way of them being able to have a loving relationship with the Lord. Boy, I, I, I listened to them in Sunday school this morning, and they were talking about different things that sometimes they're getting up, getting ready to try to go to church, or try to go to church, and, and gets in their way. Yeah. Might be a button on a coat. Mm -hmm. Might be a little dime in the pocket. Might be a flat tap. Might be a God. Uh, might have a headache. Things that causes us not to think about God and put our minds. See, Satan, Satan could put our minds on other things. But when we look at the tunnel and look at God on the other end, and we, we ask God to help us. I want to go to church this morning. I want to go to the temple that you have provided where I can come in with other believers. Where I can come in and worship you. Where I can come in and see you move. Where I can come in and know you're there. Amen. And you be there for us. Preach. God will change. And he will. And you know, sometimes when when them Satan is fighting against you to get you to church, and, and different things and different things going on. And when you come into church and after, sometimes you say, you know, I didn't want to be here before. It was something that I said to me. Great. It was something that I said in the music. It was something that I worshiping. It was something that I, that Holy Spirit was saying. Yes. Yes. That the Holy Spirit just said, see, now look what you would have been missing. Right. All right. 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 Look what you wouldn't have been fed. Yes. And all the girls say, nah, 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 nah. I told you so. You need to get it I told you so. You need to get it on. You need to realize that God is there. Yes. And when you're there and you're bringing other people there, when you're talking about it, you'll be blessed. Yes. Teach. You don't have a piece of man. Teach. You can shake, rally in the road yes. when people come to talk about things. You know, sometimes when, when people talk about you, 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 don't get upset. Sometimes the best thing to say, you can't find a better subject to talk about me. <laughs> <laughs> See, when you tell them that, they're going to they, they get upset. Because you ain't upset. <laughs> sometimes you don't have to get mad at people. When they say something about you, you can say, praise the Lord. Yeah. You think that much of it? Praise the Lord. Yeah, no, yes, no. But God can change it. 
Yes. 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 When they don't know where to turn, how to turn, who to turn, <coughs> be praying. Hey, Lord, open their eyes. Yes. Let them see. If they turn from their wicked way, yes, if they get on their knees, yes. if they fast, yes, Lord. if they look to the hills where the strength comes from, yes. you can change. Because in the word, you told, from the beginning, you told Abraham, I know, leave you or forsake you, regardless of where you're at. Mm -hmm. David talks about how there's no place you can go and hide from him. God is there. Yes. He's there for you. He done made a promise. He never forsake you. Yes, yes. When times get hard, God, you told me you'll never forsake me. You'll never leave me. You'll help me out of this situation. I'm going to sit back and, and rely on your promise and see what you're going to do. When I stop trying to be mean and let you in and let you be God, things get better. God is for us. And when God is for us, who can be against us? Right. Right. We better learn to know God can change us. God is the change maker. He's the different way than our way. But he has set us straight. If we live, if we believe it. Prayer turns, turns things around. We pray. We pray to Jesus about the sin. Ask him for forgiveness. There's sometimes we do things that we don't even know is wrong. We, we might say something uh, and not realize that what we said might hurt somebody else. We might refuse something that we could have done. We fall short. But God is never short. God is on time all the time. Oh, yes, he is. Yes, he is. His way is the best way. Yes, you know, is. some people say, well, if you don't like it, it's the highway. Mm -hmm. yeah. But if you don't like it, uh, what God is telling you, you better go to hell because heaven is waiting for you. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. Yeah. Realize yeah. God's way is the best way. Yeah. Yeah. It should be the only way. Oh, no. But God, but God gives us our choice to choose His way or our way. Sometimes we choose our way. We call us problem, not God problem, but we call us problem. Yeah. See, we don't call God problem because He can fix it. Yeah. He can fix that and we can't fix. We can't. Fix a broken leg, but God can. He can fix it, he can repair it. He can heal it. But God is there for you. God can take care of you. God can change you. Then God will forgive them who have repented, who have talked to the Son, have talked to the Holy Spirit. God will forgive them. If you don't think so, look at Job. When the his, his uh, three buddies talked about him and said, you must have did this, you must have did that. He hadn't did a doggone thing. God was allowing things to happen and they didn't understand it. Sometimes something happened in your life, somebody ready to say, well, God must be mad at you. And not God. Charles is life. Charles is the things that we do. Everybody in here, body metabolism is different. Some gonna have some disease, some gonna have some and some ain't. 
just like COVID. Everybody ain't had COVID, but there are some that have had COVID. <clears throat> but we have to look at things. We have to look at God got a special thing for each one of us. Yes, he does. When we buy four Cadillacs, and all of them got the same look, the same thing, by the time we get them home, we done did something different than that Cadillac, so it won't look like the other folks' Cadillac. That's the way in life. God do things to us so we don't, I, God so, I mean, trillions of billions of people in there, and they say, don't nobody have the same family and friends? Oh, God. Oh, God. Think about that. Okay. If God could give all these people different family and friends, what God can't do? Teach. <laughs> Do we realize that we cut God short? God don't cut us short. We cut God short. Because we try to put him in our mindset. We eliminate what God can do or what God won't do or what God won't change. Yes, God is good. Amen. God is great. Yes, yes. Every day. God can change. Every day. Amen. Have you turned from your sin? Have you asked the Lord, look over me, clean me up, <coughs> make me righteous. Let me see you in me. Um, let me be what you're all about. Let me be what you want me to be. Let me walk your way. I need you, God. I know that you can change me, but I got to put more of you and less of me in this thing. I gotta quit trying to fire about do this or do that, but what is it you want me to do? Amen. Amen. I need you, Lord. Yes. Change it, Lord. Yes. God promised to bless those who seek Him highly. The points of obedience and humility. For you being humble, humility being humble. Don't brag about it. Put yourself up above somebody. Be able to willingly Jeez. help or do something. Amen. Jeez. Be obedient to the word of the Lord. Yes, Lord. Sometimes it gets hard, but when you start doing God's way, you start finding life a little bit better. Yes, you start Jesus. finding a little bit of peace. Yes. You start finding a little bit of joy. Yes, when you Jesus. start looking at and, and, and realize it's not all about me. Yes. But it's about you, Lord. Yes, Lord. It's not all about what I think, but let me think the way you want me to think. Let me yes. operate the way you want me to yes. operate. Change me, Lord. Yes. yes. Change. Yes. To seek God's face is to seek his cameras. God got many cameras. He got many things that he can do and will do and will change. Yeah. He got, he got, a, if, if you go to the house to eat dinner, he got a meal for you, <laughs> especially for you. When you come over to the house of the Lord, there should be something on that plate that said that fits you. Yeah. You might not want no macaroni and cheese, but you might want some gravy. Eat. You might not want no pork chop, but you might want some chicken. But God got something for you. Yes, he does. When you come into the house of the Lord, when you leave out of here, if you got a stomachache, you said, pop, pop, fears, lick, fears, Lord. Oh, what a relief it is. Yes. 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 If you got a headache, he can kill you. Yes, he can. Yes. If you got a money shortage, he can increase it. Yes, he can. Yes. yes. If you got a neighbor problem, you wait long enough, and they will be gone. <laughs> God can change. Yes, he can. Yes, he can. God can. Yes. To see your character, truth. Truth is the word. And you're going to find truth in the word. If you believe in the word. If you live the word. 
in his presence. This is the word. We find truth and presence in this household. We find truth and presence right here by uniting and enlightening and helping each other. <coughs> Instead of trying to be the problem, be a source of getting them out of the problem. Because one day you're going to have a problem. And when you have your problem, you're going to want somebody to sympathize with you. Yes, man. Preach. You know, people, you always complaining of this or that. You know, I, I, I think about now when I was younger and I hear the old folks talk about <laughs> having arthritis and pain. And, 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 and I had, I wore around there with my t shirt on. And, um, and they tell you about putting on a coat. Ow, oh, yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I wish I had a list. Yeah, no, we all. <laughs> I tell folks, you know, if you get past 50 on that night of when you're 49 at 12 o'clock, 12 or 1, God said, no, I'm going to let you see what the old folks do. <laughs> <laughs> that couldn't stand the heat, or couldn't stand the temperature, or couldn't walk right, or couldn't breathe, or do some things, and you yeah. laughing at them? Good times, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. See, when the, when, when the children tell you, oh, you're an old man, an old woman, mm -hmm. and the best thing you can tell them, you can get to that age. That's right. Uh, right. That's right. Keep right. on living. Keep on living. Right. Like the old folks, keep on living. Keep on living. Right. You yeah. see what I'm talking about? Truth. You understand when I told you don't do this or don't do that or don't wear that? What it do to you? God can change things. Yeah. Yeah. If you look to him. Yes, he can. If you believe in him. Yes, Lord. God can change things. Yes. What where else to seek his hand? We need to seek his hand. We need to see his answer at that. We need to understand what's going on with him and not us. Yes. God can change that yes. if you let him. Yes. God is the changer if you believe that. Yes, to seek provisions and circumstances, answer. <coughs> he can change your provision. He can change your situation. He can change your circumstances. Yes. He can change things through our prayers, our desires, our fears, our loneliness, and our struggle. God can change it. Yes, he can. Yes, he can. God can change it if you let him. Yes. And God can change it if you be a beast. Just like he told Moses, he told David, he told Joshua, I'm going to build a temple. I'm going to have a temple where you can come in and worship. We're still able to come into the house of the Lord and worship. He have not changed, but he can change you <clears throat> to be better. If you believe he can change it, let him be in closure. God can change it if you let him. Go and let God be God. We need to learn how to let God be God. Let God walk before us. Let God talk to us. Let God lead us. Let God help us. Let God raise us up. Let God show us the truth. Let God let us know he is the truth. He's the way maker. He's the alpha and the formation. He's the beginning and the end. Yes, he is. Nothing can change without his consent. Right. If you don't believe so, ask Job. Satan couldn't touch him without God's consent. Satan can't touch you unless you allow him. But God, but through God, God's not going to let him touch you. If you believe, believe if you are believe. God can change. God is our change. He's our way maker. 
<clears throat> is out there right and I got it. You know I go to church on it. Amen.